So here we go. I'm going to be uh, cleaning the uh, mass airflow sensor on this car. It's a six cylinder, three liter BMW engine. I've got the engine covers off already so we can get into the uh, coil packs and the injectors are on this side. There's the fuel rail, square thing. So the mass airflow sensor on any car, pretty much regardless of brand, it's gonna be the same place. That's the air box right there, so the air filter is in that. So you find there'll be a cold air intake where the, the um, drawing cold air in to the engine and then it'll be feeding through uh, to the engine itself. So on this side, down here, that there with a the little barcode on it is actually the mass airflow sensor. So you can actually undo those two screws and lift that out, but I'm also going to clean the throttle body. So I'm going to pull um, the airbox out and pull this out, the tube out, and um, get through to the throttle body around underneath. And this is quite simply a spray-on repair job. You've got to um, pull things apart to get into it. You can actually spray onto this um, when you take the air cleaner out, but I'm gonna get a little bit more access, access to it than that. I'll show you both different ways. Now, when you're cleaning the mass airflow sensor, um, it's not just a gimmick that you have to buy actually the right stuff, mass airflow sensor cleaner. Uh, this leaves no residue, it's a very um, sensitive hot wire that um, is sensing how much air is going into the car. It's very much got to do with the um, electronic tuning of the car, so it's it's got to be clean. And if you put something on which has got a residue, um, that's not going to work for you. So I've also got throttle body and carby cleaner. Now that was about $7 for a bottle. This here was in the high 20s for a bottle. Um, it is a different product and it is one that you don't get away with um, cleaning. I actually noticed online that Bosch is recommending that you don't clean it, that you just replace it, but at over $200 a shot. Um, and I happen to know that these clean up absolutely fantastic when you use the right product, um, I'll definitely be cleaning it. But it's a good reason to not go putting the wrong product on. The throttle body and carby cleaner is a cleaner, but it's too harsh for the mass airflow sensor. So get the right product. Um, it's money well spent, even though it is, you know, possibly $30 for a tin of this, uh, you'll have it for all time. But it's interesting, it is actually saying here, um, use every time you clean or change your air filter, which is a good idea. Just give it a spray through the air box. Um, we'll keep it clean. Because um, if you the, the signs that show that the uh, mass airflow sensor needs a clean, uh, if you're noticing higher fuel consumption, uh, if you're noticing stuttering, particularly on takeoff, my car is stuttering. You first put the accelerator down. Um, it's almost like it's got a, a turbo lag. It just does nothing and then goes. At high revs, it seems to be okay. So I'm very sus that um, hopefully, anyway, that this cleaning of these two components will um, get it all spot on. If it doesn't, I'm gonna to have to go over and look at the coil packs and the um, even the injectors on the other side. But um, we'll worry about that after we've given it this clean. So the first step, is we're going to take the airbox off. Often it's just clips. This is an uh, E60, E61 BMW 2007. So we've got a clip there and there. That's going to release that. And yep, just lugs underneath. That pulls out. And straight away we've got a clamp down here on the, just behind the mass airflow sensor. So I'm going to unplug the mass airflow sensor and um, take that clip off. A lot of times when you're um, trying to undo plugs and screws and things in a car, it's a great idea to throw a bit of light onto the situation. And with a bit of light, look at that clip, we can see how there's actually the center part there needs to lift up over that little ball that's there, and then that will come out. So classic trying to do it um, one hand on the camera one hand on the screwdriver leave me one hand short but let's see how we go if I can get that up and that out okay so here we go pulling that up and now the whole assembly will come off and that little fella in there is the mass airflow sensor that's what that special spray is going to go on to so you've got awesome access to that as you can see just by lifting that cover off the airbox 
if we had a sprayed, if you're going to do it without getting off the airbox, that's from the, the square of the bottom. That's where the mass airflow sensor is. It's up there at about one o'clock, up past one in, on the position. So you just give that a good old spray and that should clean it up. So again, I know it's just a clamp on the other end of this tube. So we have to fold around. You can see it goes around there and then back in under the uh, throttle body down there. You can see it bending in. And then the next question is, okay, so where's that clamp? And we can see the head of the screw is there pointing downward. So I need to stretch my arm in underneath, get onto that screw and undo the clamp. And then that um, whole tube will come off and the throttle body will be exposed. Screw. But one little tip, I've got myself a, a stubby screwdriver. It's a lot easier to hold and get into a tight little situation. I think it's gonna be best. So having a range of tools is always helpful, but also this is rubber. This hose here is mounted on rubber, so that just slides up and comes off, and that gives much better access to that screw down there. That's down there where we're heading. So we'll get that out of the way and see That's how we go. Pipe when it's off, very important at this point to give it all a really good inspect to check the condition that it's still flexible. If there's any cracks or breaks in it. Don't try to patch them, replace it. Um, so we need to stretch all this out and check that it's all in good condition, both ends and the other end, make sure there's no cracks, because it's very important that you get a total seal, uh, both ends of this, otherwise you get a vacuum leak and the car will never run smooth and right. So that part's off, and uh, time to get into the throttle body. Now the throttle body is right there. And it is looking nice and clean. Not like it's been catching there, but we'll give all that a clean and um, and put it all back together again. So that is where the big pipe was connected on. So just giving this a look, as I um, press this in, I'm certainly not going to force it, but uh, you have a look at that. There's um, a lot of carbon buildup in there on that throttle body. So I'm going to get the car running. Ideally, you'd have um, someone else here to give it a bit of a rev, get some revs going, but I'll see if it'll idle because obviously the mass airflow sensor is not doing anything at all now. Um, but that's just the air coming in and all of the air cleaners and everything else is about keeping dirt out. So we really don't want that to go in, but the um, throttle body cleaner that I've got, give that a clean and get that carbon off the neck there. So we'll give it a start and then give it a clean up. Okay, so we're running and I'm gonna give it a spray. repeat that once more so I got right into the uh, thing there and like now if I give that a press with the engines off I know I can now open it and that's what I did I was able to open that by pressing it on the top there and spray in on the back here just to make sure that all of this was clean and that all the carbon was off and I'm happy that that's all clean now um, so that's come up well you do want to not drown it and get too much in there if it stalls because you can hydro lock the engine, what that means is you get too much fluid go in and the press and comes up because unlike air, it won't compress, it can do damage to your engine. So just keep small amounts going in there. But that's it, that's nice and clean, I'm happy with that. The carbon that was there is now gone. So 
that's ready for some more service. Time to clean the mass airflow sensor. And that's in the lid of the air box here. That little pin right there. Let's come out into the light. So that little pin right there is what all this expensive spray is all about. And that is the one that we do believe has been playing up. So we're going to give that a clean from both directions. And it is quite dirty from this side, which is interesting. Spray. Clean that out. Um, just give it the adequate spray to clean it. Very important that you don't brush it or rub it with a rag or anything like that, but just hit it with the spray. Okay, so now what is left is just to reverse all the procedure. So this guy needs to go back on and we'll position the screwdriver back in a place where we think we can get him in satisfactorily. We lift this up out of the way, guide our little elbow back in, and get it gently back over the throttle body, like that, and then wiggle it into place, just like that. And this is really important that you're happy that you get to see it, um, and it goes right back to the right spot and sits back in place. And then you can do up the screws, the one screw on the clamp, and we're done. Tip for screwing this back on is to get uh, this um, line here up over the top of the canister. And alignment here, you need to line it up with the cap where it's going to go on. So don't have that drooping down below your line here, but have it above, um, which is with this flat. And then over the back, these two rubber hoses that we unclipped, you need to come over the top of them and then get your hand down there and put your screwdriver in and do it up. And that is how it's done. I'll try and get it in the right spot there, but it's incredibly awkward with one hand and then do it up tight and do not drop the screwdriver. Put the air box back in, the air filter, sorry, back in. And sitting this back in, removing the slots, you can see them down there, the slots that need to go in place, as well as that boot needs to go on. Let's position the boot first. There it goes, the boot is on. Now we slide this up so that those slots are in the right place. Like that, one, two, that goes in. Then we position that so it's right, pull over those clips, bring the silver clip right over the top and press that down, that's locked in place, silver clip over the top, lock that down, okay, in order to protect and look after that wire, let's put this back down over the side where it needs to go. And to protect and look after that wire, we'll plug it in into the slot there. Again, much easier done with two hands rather than one. Here we go. Sliding that in and clipping it into place. There you go. That's in. Airbox is in. Successfully clipped in place. So all we need to do now is do up that clamp, which we spin that around. Here he comes. Um, there is the clamp. Move the light down there. So we've just spun the band so it gets up to a, an accessible position. Do up that clamp and you're done. We've um, successfully cleaned the mass airflow sensor and cleaned the throttle body in underneath. Then it's time for a test drive. Yeah, so the good news is, after the test drive, that uh, that worked. I'm happy to say that the car, the um, little dead spot, the blip, is gone. So uh, really, really happy. And I'm very much convinced that it was the mass airflow sensor 
that was the problem. But while I was in there and working at it, I wanted to have a go at the uh, throttle body as well. So yeah, successful repair for me and I hope it is for you as well. Thanks for watching.